Um, at the Lompoc Police Department, I am a police records technician, which means I handle a lot of the paperwork that goes to the DA's office. Um, we register people, we handle um, calls. Um, when COVID-19 hit, we closed down the lobby specifically, so we wouldn't have any public contact. Um, a lot of our officers would come through and talk to us and they were cut. We were minimized contact with them. They weren't even allowed in records. Um, when we went out to the public to handle the calls that we normally would, we had to put on a mask. Um, we had to wear gloves. At, and every time we used something that the public used, we sanitized it, had it sit down for a couple days. And then um, we ch stopped taking credit cards. We started taking only cash. City of Lompoc shut down immediately. We closed our doors immediately to the public. There was everything, as an essential worker, there was nothing more that they could have done for us. They'll have contact with the public. What we do now is we put on our mask and we go out to the actual outside, ask them to keep a distance of six feet. Unless we obviously can't, we have a clipboard and um, we sanitize everything that we use, but we really try to minimize contact that we have with them. If we they need a police report, we ask them for the case number, we look at their ID, and then we mail it to them. Um, if they need a car release, that's usually typically when we see them the most, is someone needing a car released, but it's very minimal contact. It's go out there, grab what we need, come back in, and then go over there again. So COVID-19, we would have to have people have, um, they could come in at their any time. We used to register people here, and now I only take appointments on Tuesdays and Thursdays be between specific times that the chief mandated. Um, now, the only time we really don't take appointments is if they need to get a car released or they have a question about reports. In our office, we're already six feet apart um, and we have our own little cubicles. Um, when we're in the department, we try to stay six feet away from each other, especially with the officers since they can't really control whether or not they have contact with the public or not. They have to respond. So. I know a lot of us girls in the records department really tried to keep our distance from them. The city of Lompoc did offer to certain people that had um, kids that didn't have any childcare. For instance, we did have someone here in our records department that had little kids, one a baby infant actually. She just came back from maternity leave and they allowed her to work from home. My kids are older so um, I was able to just FaceTime them when I need, they needed help with schoolwork and I'm very lucky in the sense I have someone at home who could also help. There has not been any positive cases within the police department, um, but there was one just recently, this past weekend, a sanitation worker um, was tested positive. So they allowed all the sanitation department to stay home on a Monday. They were tested on a Tuesday. We and don't know the outcome of those tests. I know obviously we have that one positive from the sanitation worker who kind of alerted everybody, but they don't know the outcome of the tests yet. We do have free testing within Santa Barbara County. One was actually here in Lompoc, and they just switched it to solving, which is like 20 minutes away. Actually, the only thing here in the city of Lompoc is we do have the prison, which is down the way a little bit. The prison has a lot of cases. I think they had an upwards of 700, maybe even more. It was a lot, a lot of cases. And unfortunately, they've had a lot of deaths there as well. I think they just had their fourth one. So that's what something that we have to be cognizant about living in Lompoc is having that federal prison like down the street from us. During this whole COVID crisis, Jaime has been a great resource. I constantly go to him. He's always helpful. He tells us what to do. Um, he's always a text message away. So I've never not been supported by Jaime. I'm also an organizing steward and I know that they've really broken down on the amount of trainings that they've done and implemented them through um, online. And I think that's great. I'm glad that they're kind of changing with what needs to happen so we can still be proactive and do our part, but not have to be so close together during this time.